Hello everyone, this is Breen King coming with another pack with another Yu-Gi-Oh! pack opening. Um, well, this is actually deck opening. So uh, I was able to get the new uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Superstar Space Time Showdown. And it says, the pendulum swings. So, this is obviously the new uh, deck of the year 2014, and it's also the new Cards in the Arc 5 series. Um, I'm still, of course, waiting to get in the other seven Zexal Collection tins in the Judge and the Light box. I'll probably do some more openings in the future, too, probably after that. Uh, probably Abyss Rising Special Edition, uh, Battle Pack 2, Round 2, uh, box, uh, maybe in our Sh Shadow Specters box, too, and possibly in our Prime Origin box, but that'll probably be later on. So the other pack opening might happen this week, later this week. So of course I've been watching the Arc Five series, and of course I'd have to sit my. I do like the uh, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon card, and I do like the Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon card, and I'd have to say that my. From what I like the series too, my I have to say that my favorite deck is the DDD deck, which is also the Different Dimension Demon deck. I just thought that was a really cool deck that it has all the extra deck summoning methods into one deck, like the first archetype to actually do that. And I can't wait till we get that here in the TCG. And just the Reiji, the character uses is also pretty cool as well too. So, typically I usually get three of each deck as I did the Light Sworn deck in the last opening. Um, but when it's a super starter deck, when you can get power up packs and you get these random cards, then I, that's why I got this. And so I'm going to have. So it comes with 10 decks, so there'll be seven extras for sale, and they'll probably at least be typically $10 each, which is how much they usually are. Of course, that's what the deck looks like. Pendulum Summon Now includes two power up packs. And of course, I heard there's supposed to be um, a special deal box. Like, I think it's a monster box or something like that, where you get the deck, you get an extra, a third power up pack. I'm guessing it's a random one. And then you get an actual play mat that's a rubber play mat which I'll be looking forward to getting something like that too. I'll of course just get one of those because I don't need any more cards. I'll get it maybe to get the rubber mat hopefully because the paper mats aren't really the best. They're kind of all bent up and all that and rubber mats are easier to play on, which I still think when they make decks, they should do rubber mats for now and not these paper mats. I did get, and as for the last one, there was the uh, Zexal one, which that was a pretty decent one too, and they started doing that. So I do like the idea of this. So of course, 
you're guaranteed a dark hole and odd eyes dragon which the dark hole card they shouldn't put in there. that was the most that was the stupidest idea they could have put because we've already got that card reprinted numerous times i think people already have too many dark holes ask the new play mat it's of course much different than action uh It's actually a little different this time, actually, for some odd reason. So that's the new map there, where you got your your blue pendulum zone, your red red pendulum zone, I guess left or right pendulum zone, and so those are the new zones. You put your pendulum cards and a tree of spell cards went in those zones. And the effect applied on the card is the pendulum effect. So as I already know how to do the pendulum summoning thing, and then as the cards you get here are the scale that you get it, you get scales one to eight. So then with this deck, of course here in TCG, TCG you can play any cards levels two to seven once per turn, as many from your hand. And if it's from your extra deck, they can be pendulum monsters too. But unfortunately, they've only give us two for now until when Duelist Alliance comes out next month. And then of course there's the new beginner's guide. So this is a new one. There's new new things here too. It's got the pendulum cards here too, and the two rule changes. The first rule change I find to be stupid, which is if you go first, you don't draw a card. That's stupid. I myself rather play in person, and I rather play by the older rules because those are the rules I grew up with, and I'll, I'm sticking to those rules. Their rule is both people can have both players can have their own field spell that can also makes things a little much different in that and i don't mind that so you can don't have to worry about your field spell being overlapped and destroyed so you got to keep it but again hopefully they don't do any more changes because otherwise they get, it's going to be pretty different so making new types of cards i don't mind but when they start screwing around the rules then it just makes it a mess <clears throat> so you get your deck and your two power-up packs And in the deck, you get two super rare cards, whereas the two ultra rares are in the power up packs. So the first card you get is Time Gazer Magician Super Rare. As you can see, it's Pendulum Scales 8. And it, this is also pro possibly going to be a new archetype, the Odd Eyes archetype. So it's kind of like how they have the Blue Eyes archetype, the Red Eyes archetype. Well, now I'm going to figure they're going to do the Odd Eyes archetype because they already have Odd Eyes, Pendulum, Dragon. And I'm guessing they'll probably make more cards with this archetype in the future since that's Yuya's key card. And that's probably what his uh, deck theme is going to be along with the Entermate cards. So that what you'd probably put in your right Pendulum Zone. As for the, the one you put in the left pendulum zone, I guess um, is the Stargazer Magician Super Rare. That's pendulum scales one. As you can tell, the difference of pendulum monsters, you know, they're half monster, half spell. Spell in the pendulum zone, monster in the monster card zone. And you can even tell that like, the top part is like monster, and then the bottom part is like a spell. So I know a lot of people don't really like these cards. I myself actually enjoy them too because it's kind of like making it easier, a little the game a little easier to play so you don't have to uh, wait turns to tribute monsters. You can kind of just play them out as is. I know some people don't like that. They like the fact of, you know, all these restrictions, but this kind of takes out the restrictions. But then, of course, they have to add the new rules and, and they're not really the best ideas. And then, of course, the ban list making things harder too. So they're getting rid of all these 
um, good cards and taking all the like taking the like putting all the skill cards on the ban list and taking all the cheapo cards off the list. So it's yeah, those are the two main cards, obviously. That you'd probably be wanting to get, obviously. I don't think they'll be available anywhere else unless they decide to reprint uh, to make a 2015 deck. And of course, you get Watt Tail Dragon. The rest of these are commons. Luster Dragon. The other card I was glad they reprinted too was, of course, Hunter Dragon. Of course, I'm looking for like two more of these. And the reason I was looking for this was for the Cyber Dragon deck. Because it goes good well at the Cyber Darks because it's a level 3 dragon. It's got 1700 attack points. So that's a really good card there. You get Millennium Shield, Dark Blade, Warrior Digrepher, Chamberlain of the Six Samurai, Mystical Elf. Then you get, then there's some new cards Aether the Empowering Dragon, Vendra the Empowered Warrior, Arnest the Empowered Warrior, Terra Tiger the Empowered Warrior. Hydro Taurus, the Empowered Warrior. And then as for the, uh, these are of course all new cards. And you get Gold Dragon Summoner, Blue Dragon Summoner, Red Sparrow Summoner, White Tiger Summoner, Green Turtle Summoner. So that's all the monsters. Then there's Sorcerer Spell Wall, Supply Squad, which is a good card. Lightning Vortex, which I think that needs to be on the ban list at least, at one. Mystical Space Typhoon, which I think we've got that card enough. Ego Boost, Axe of Despair, Lucky Iron Axe, Monster Reincarnation, Dark Factory of Mass Production, Poison of the Old Man, Trap Hole, Sakuritsu Armor, Raigeki Break, Dust Tornado, Shadow Spell, A Hero Merges, Soul Resurrection, Jar of Greed, Magic Jammer, and Seven Tools of the Bandit. So that's the deck. Now, I, I personally like the actual structure decks because they have a theme. This deck is just a bunch of random cards put in there. So it's the structure decks have a theme to it, though. So that's why I like it because typically they're, they're based around an archetype. This is just random cards all thrown in the deck. Um, and, of course, the power packs get five cards per pack. And, of course, the first one is, of course, the one you're guaranteed. And as for the other new card that's, of course, really good to get is the Ultra Rare Odd Eyes Dragon. And there's also something else you should notice, too, that notice right there where, where it would, like, this is a first edition box. Right there where it says a first, first edition, it doesn't. It says it right there. Right at the bottom to the right of the code where you input it that usually into the Yu-Gi-Oh games to input this card. So they've put it to the right there. So it's right there instead of up there where it usually is. That's another change I've noticed. And that's what they're doing with the cards now, it seems. So I kind of like it better up there, but hopefully they don't change anything else. And yet, and then Swords are being light, the A-Forces, Reinforcing the Army, and Sacred Crane. And it actually says on the back here the cards in the power pack. So, besides the Odd Eyes, Dragon, and Dark Hole, you can get Des Bullskill, Karaz the Light Monarch, Giddy Warrior Lady, Sacred Crane, Amazon Sage, Infect, Injection Fairy Lily, the A Forces, Reinforcement of the Army, Swords of Revealing Light, Mirror Force, Call the Haunted, Magic Cylinder, Divine Wrath. And a lot of those cards, they just won't stop reprinting. Like, I bet you could probably make a deck of those. I bet with all the cards we'll have now, they can make a deck of those cards now. There's so many of them. And then, of course, the other card you're guaranteed is the Ultra Rare Dark Hole. So, Injection Fair Lily, Karaz Light Monarch, Divine Wrath, and Des Volskel. That's, of course, the other cards we're going to get. The Monarchs. And that last time I remember it was printed was... I think it was the... Uh, Light of Destruction Special Edition. So that is the deck there, and of course, um, I'll probably open up a couple more of these actually. Again, as for the other seven, they'll be for sale. I 
I don't want to be uh, opening it because you get the same cards each. The deck is the same thing. This is not really a pack opening. It's a deck opening, and it's, of course, you know what cards you got to get, though, because you're guaranteed these cards. Going well, that's a little different than the power up packs, but you know what? There's not much variety in there. It's like, like 15 different cards. So I do recommend that if you like Yu-Gi-Oh, that you get this deck. It's a really good, it's a really good deck, especially for the pendulum cards and of course the brand new cards. That's probably most of the reason why people are getting the deck is for the for the new cards, obviously. Otherwise, you're gonna be stuck to just playing without being on the pendulum summon. Unless you want to wait till duels aligns, but the pendulum cards are really good though. There are pendulum cards that are really good. Two are the DDD cards, but those are only for DDD cards. So. So, out of the first pirate pack, Swords of Veil and Light, Reinforce the Army, Magic Cylinder, and Meter Force. Out of the second pirate pack, it's Amazon's, Amazon's Sage, Karaz Light Monarch, Injection Fairy Lily, and Divine Wrath. Also, it's also good to watch the show so you understand the ruling too, and of course read the beginner's guide too. That's so you understand these new changes. Unless you just want to stick back to uh, playing it the old way and whatever, which I like the old way too. But um, I also like these. I also like the new way as well too. And unfortunately, I'm not sure what the next deck we're going to be getting is too. It'll probably be in our structure deck. I'm I'm guessing we might get the gear. They're probably going to make a gear gear deck because they made a light sworn deck and in the OCG then we got it and they also made a gear gear one at the same time. So hopefully we get that gear gear deck some point soon too. But I kind of rather have the mask heroes first. I'm not going to open up all the decks there, so I'm just going to open up the first three because it's going to be repetitive. So, uh, the other ones Magic Cylinder, Mirror Force, Swords of Elan, and A Forces. Now, the last power pack for this opening, as again, the other seven or these three I'll have for myself, and the other seven will be for sale. So then DD Warrior Lady, Amazon Sage, Des Volskelf, and Call the Haunted. So of course that's it for the uh, Superstar Space Time Showdown opening. And yeah. Uh, and of course the one thing that uh, is not known of, of these pendulum cards yet because notice how they have the same scale. Again, that might, may change in the future because, you know, if they're in the red pendulum zone, they have eight. If they're in the blue one, that's eight. I'm guessing in the future they'll probably change that and start making some cards. To probably, they'll probably start out, out easy so it's not too confusing because I because I know probably when you first see this, you're probably wondering what's, like, what's going on. But probably later on, they'll probably make have, like, something like that, like maybe pendulum scale two, that one, pendulum scale six. If you put it in that zone, it'll be different from each zone. But of course they haven't done that yet, so it's unsure if they're going to make a different scales on both sides. Which I think it'd be cool if they did make a different, because at least it kind of be pretty uh, interesting if they did that. And so yeah, do, do stay tuned for also next pack opening, which will be the Judgment of the Light box opening and the Seven Zexal Collection tins, which I'm trying to get those as well too. It's just the uh, orders were kind of really backed up that like this was something I ordered about a month ago at least and hasn't come in yet. I already got the Shadow Spectre Special Edition. 
I got one of the eight tins and I already did the light sworn deck opening last pack opening. So anyway, that is it for this uh, Yu-Gi-Oh pack opening. This is Supreme King sign off. Get your game on. Thank <laughs> you.